Hi! Everyone knows that the secret to growing on Instagram is having quality content that your audience engages with. So how do you actually do that? Well, in order to grow on Instagram, you need to be on top of your insights. You need to know which type of content your audience is engaging with, which are your top posts and which posts you shouldn't be uh, sharing anymore because nobody seems to like them. And for that, you need to be checking your Instagram insights on a weekly, monthly or quarterly basis. In this video, I'm going to show you the best free tools that you can use to check your Instagram insights and make better decisions and better content. If you want to know more about checking your Instagram on the Instagram native app, I have a video that you can check right here. It's listed down below. Today, I'm going to show you four apps that you can use to check your Instagram insights that are free and give you even better insights and analytics besides your Instagram app. So let's look into that. In the next section, I'm going to show you the pros and cons of each of these apps, as well as a full list of analytics of the top best free Instagram analytics tools on the market. So let's start by looking at Icono Square. Probably the most popular analytics app for Instagram. Let's sign up for the free trial and see what analytics they offer. In the 14 days free trial, they cover all the Instagram analytics that you would get with a $29 a month plan. Now I'm going to show you an overview of all these data categories and charts that you will be getting on the free plan. The first thing that really surprised me was how easy and how neat the dashboard looks like. It's super easy to navigate and you can you get a summary of your content, followers and recent posts. So the second thing we're going to look at is engagement insights. This app shows you the best time to post for engagement along with other engagement insights such as average engagement history, uh, video insights, as well as top posts by engagement. Now on to the followers insights. Here you get to see a basic list of your followers demographics, which is quite similar to what you get on Instagram and includes followers growth and followers location. After that, we are going to look at reach and impressions. You have insights for both reach and impressions, as well as the reach impression history chart together with average reach per post type. So what is unique is that this app shows you which posts have better reach photo, video and carousels. And it will help you to know which type of content is performing better. So next we have profile activity insights. These are also called business insights and they show you the website clicks and traffic generated from Instagram. It also includes email, phone calls and visits to your physical shop if you have any. So these are similar with what you see on your Instagram app. Nothing fancy here, but I get it's good to know these statistics. Now, before I tell you which is my favorite feature, we are just going to go through the content insights. So the content insights allow you to categorize your post, to rank your post based on a different metric. You can just see which type of posts are performing best. So now to my favorite feature on Icono Square. So when you register for this app, you're going to have to tell them which industry you are from. And then based on that, they will create a chart that will compare your KPIs against your uh, average industry KPIs. I find this very useful because you get to know without adding specific competitors, without tracking them, you get to know how you are performing against your industry. So should you use Icono Square? Should you invest $29 a month on these stats? Well, even though I enjoy the free version, I enjoy looking at all these statistics, I do, would not pay $59 per month to generate a simple PDF report. So because of that, I, even though I love, love, love their charts, I love the experience, I don't think it's worth it unless you're a large social media marketing company. If you're managing 
between one to 10 Instagram accounts. I think there are other free tools that you can use that will give you the similar data. Now, the second analytics tools that I want to share with you today is Ninja Analytics. You already may know this app as being used to spy on your competitors, but it's also a powerful tool that it can be used for analyzing your own analytics and creating monthly reports. They also have three tiers of paid plans, which vary from five euros up to 40 euros a month, and they offer 14 days free trial. So we are going to go for sign up for the free trial and I'll show you which of the insights are available. So once you open your Ninjalytics dashboard, you're going to see three main tabs, which are general, post and stories. So the main tab is called general insights. Here you're going to see a summary of your post views from the last week until last six months. So the main insights shown under this general tab are your profile traffic, new followers, as well as the percentage of people who unfollowed you, call to action analytics, followers location and demographics. When you click on the second tab, we'll show you your post analytics. Here you can see your engagement rate, your attraction capability, which are the best times to post, your post types breakdown, as well as the best post charts. And together with a detailed analysis, analysis of each post. So the same thing goes for stories. You get a little less insights on individual stories, but you get some cool charts that will show you the traffic and replies that you get from stories. And you also see some cool charts um, relating to your stories performance. And so you can learn more about your stories. So do I recommend Ninja Analytics? Well, if you manage less than five profiles, then you will be happy to know that Ninja Analytics allows you to download and send PDF reports to your clients. However, I do not recommend their cheapest plan because you only get one profile and limited insights up to only seven days. In terms of their content, I forgot to mention that one thing that I really don't like about Ninja Analytics is that their charts are, they don't look that professional because they have that huge Ninja Analytics watermark in the background and it would be quite difficult to incorporate them into your reports without losing the data. So another free Instagram analytics tools that I want to share with you is Share My Insights. If you watch my previous video on competitor analysis, you'll already be familiar with this app. But today I'm going to show you the main insights that you get from choosing this app. So Share My Insights has only two plans. One is a free access plan and one is a paid plan. So with the free version, you get your history of insights up to 14 days. With the paid plan, you get as many profiles as you need for $9 a month. And you can also see a full history of insights. So to recap, in terms of insights, you're going to get multiple profiles. You can build your custom dashboard and you can check your profile metrics such as engagement. You can track your followers insights. You can track your business traffic as well as insights into your content and your post. Now, additional stats that you get with this app is your top hashtags. You can also um, monitor your top three competitors. You also get a location tracker for your followers where you can monitor followers uh, increase based on a specific country or a specific location. And you can set email report, reports and work with your team. I think in terms of uniqueness, the location tracking tool is quite um, interesting and something different that you cannot find somewhere else. So do I think you should use Share My Insights? Well, if you're someone who is new with tracking Instagram insights, I think you'll find that their free plan, which comes with a single account, is the most useful. You'll get a good basic set of analytics up to 14 days, which is more than enough. Besides that, with just $9 a month, you'll be able to get lifetime insights for multiple accounts, as many as you need. 
and you also get to create your own custom dashboard but the only thing that you can't do at the moment is save your insights into PDF reports and send them straight to your clients. So you'll have to do that manually. Last but not least, I want to show you the Facebook Creator Studio. Now, this is not the most complete analytics tool, but I'm still going to show you because it's free. So once you go to the Content Creator Studio of Facebook, you can go to the Insights, the Instagram Insights tab. From here, you're going to see your top post activity. Now, the problem with this is that Instagram only shows you the insights activity for the last seven days and the data that they show you, it's quite basic. I would say it's even less than what you get on the mobile app. So you only have two tabs here, which is the activity and your audience insights. Here it just shows you your total followers growth for the last seven days and the gender and age of your followers as well as where are they from and which days and times they are most active. So I feel in terms of free analytics software, this is quite basic and it's even less than using the mobile app. So I definitely don't recommend you to check it unless you're using it for a, a private profile or you're not really interested in learning more about analytics and using it for growth. So now that you know these four apps, it's up to you to choose which one is better for you. And let me know in the comments below if you have tried these apps or if you want me to review other social media tools and apps. I'll be happy to do that.